Right, good morning, Peter. Morning, Andrew. Here we are, we're parked here, uh, just off the road from Sedbury to Kirby Stephen, and we're just going to go up the road for 100 yards, cross Rothy Bridge, and then turn in a south-westerly direction, and this is all over the fells. But, um, all the way down here to uh, towards Wards's and then we come down I think this comes down the hillside crosses the road crosses the River Rothy and picks up the footpath called the Pennine Journey and uh, at this point here depending how we're going uh, we can got a diversion to go up here and have a look at Courtley Spout which is a waterfall uh, and we go, but we come back more or less to the same place and follow the footpath all the way back up up to here uh, where the footpath comes and hits the road just the other side of the bridge and we're just back down to the cars here and um, there obviously was something I think about, it was 5.8 miles yes. and 800 feet if yeah, I remember right like like that, yeah. um, it's a cloudy day folks there's uh, one, two, three, four, eight of us. It's a cloudy, it's a little bit chilly as well. Even, you know, they're threatening that it's going to be nice, but uh, it's coming round a little bit. There's a little. It's trying, it, as they say, it's trying. There's just some little bits of moisture in the air, uh, but it's a nice part of the country, and uh, we're looking forward to this walk. So we're starting, we're just uh, heading down here and we're straight into straight into a water jump which uh, after last night's rain is a little bit deeper than it probably was but uh, we're, uh, we're here anyway Now don't drop it <laughs> Shut the gate now, last one through. I'm photo I'm I'm photographer. I can't do that. I can't do that and, and take pictures. I'll take a picture of Alan doing this. Engineer. So our first uh, little stop. We just got to a uh, a junction in the path, left to my left, and round here takes us up into the fells and onto the moors. And I don't think we particularly want that, so we're just going to go down this track here and then follow the valley. So these are the uh, Western Dales, beautiful here, Western Yorkshire Dales. Uh, probably sometime this afternoon, I think we might be heading up there to the, um, the spout there and you can just about see whether we do or whether we just cut straight across the bottom of it because we're going up and down the same path and then we're just still keeping on this old cart track heading down towards a metal road it's it's reasonably easy walking it's a bit bumpy underfoot there's a bit of dampness but uh, it's enabling us to make some progress as opposed to wandering over that stuff which won't be much fun this is down the valley towards Sebba and we're on uh, our 11's break now through this uh, this gate there's a little finger post here pointing us down to the main road on the bridleway um, and we're heading down now I think down into the valley and I think ultimately we're going to head up to the spout there like I said before it's getting a bit steeper now we're heading down here and we're at the moment as I said we were following a footpath but we can't find it so I think we're putting our uh, our own our own marker down but it's not easy walking this it's um, there's some tussocks hassocks whatever you want to call them big clumps 
and very long grass so difficult underfoot there's a man here from barn or b4rm broadband for rural network yeah lovely here very nice so we've crossed the main road that's the main road that we came along between uh, Sebber and Kirby Stephen. We drove along here. We're at the bottom of the water now and uh, starting to head towards the river and back uh, east. So we're now crossing the uh, River Rothe, which runs down through Sedba. Uh, we've just come along this little track here. And this is the other side of it. Lovely little spot. Yeah. It's very much the same as before. We've, there is a path up um, by the gate to the left of those trees, which is this Pennine journey thing, I think. But that just drops down and we rejoin it. So we've carried on on a, a, a lane, a track, come through a little farmyard. And now we're moving on north, uh, up towards the spout. This is a lovely part of the world. Look at this. Beautiful here. Even for Yorkshire. Right the way around. We're trying to work out what that is there, what the hill is. But we can't uh, oh no. And then... And then... We're heading up towards a spout there. But it's beautiful here. Nobody about. Nobody. There are worse lunch spots than, uh, than round here. This is lovely. This is where we've stopped. All the way around here. Even got tables, tables and chairs. All sat down and enjoying ourselves. And there's some big hills here. I wouldn't like to walk up some of these, even if I was about 50 years younger and fitter. And then to the spout up here. We're up to the spout and up to the top. Up to the top of there. Here we go. This is where we've come back down now from the up to the right of that fell in front of us, not more in front of us. Come back down the river uh, and we're heading back now down the valley against the tower, well, up the valley by the look of the, um, the way the current's going. I don't think we're going over the bridge, we're going over this way and back up towards the cars. This is a real Ford, a genuine Ford. <laughs> it is nice. Watch you, it's very slippy, Peter. <laughs> The unfortunate thing is that this is where the Ford is and uh, that's where the most running water is. You could get across on these, but you can't get across there. So I think everybody's got varying degrees of wet feet. We've just been hijacked by a, well I don't know whether it was a helpful local or, or I don't know, she just kept shouting, do you know where you're going? You know where you're going? Have you got a map? And then eventually saw us and, and then very pleasantly just said, Well, you're not delinquents, are you? So you obviously know what you're up to. So, yeah, you can get out that way. So we're going that way, as she said. And we're heading now. As you can see, there's the road down below. That's the main road. And across the other side is... Uh, is the path that we walked this morning and if we go just past this little couple of trees here 
you can just see the road at the bottom one wall two walls and then that's the path that we walked this morning when we were walking down towards down the valley so we're carrying on down the track there I'm just going to show you this it's pretty fair to say that that was built to last don't know how old that is but that is a beautiful building it's a barn but you could make some house out of that we've got another one here now another ford oh, but we've got a guide this time we've got uh, both a handrail and a guiding hand but it's uh, a touch no you're doing all right so we've come through some woods over more moorland been a challenging afternoon this actually uh, I don't think we're too far to go now I've just come over our second style of the day and we're now just heading up this way we've got to cross this river again no doubt that we'll have to look for another ford Graham's got it uh, under control by the looks of things he's taken us through two fords already Else is across and uh, I'm there's more to come so finally finally we're back on the main road uh, over there is where we set off this morning we're just walking back now a short distance we've come through the woods over there and on the other side of these trees and this wall now we're just making our way back to the cars which should come into view hopefully around this next little bend here and then we'll have done the walk will have been done uh, good walk weather's been great it's been sunny cloudy a bit of, bit of breeze some tough walking and uh, there's the cars ready and waiting for us so hopefully you'll be ready and waiting for us next week when I think we're going to Burnside so see you then folks <laughs>